Hello guys. I am out here feeling very unwell. But um, I think it's because I'm having cabin, <coughs> cabin fever. <laughs> cabin fever. I can't even talk today. I went to this dog park. I didn't bring my dog because I'm scared. She's very little and there's a lot of dogs that are not leashed. But the reason why I came here is because it's so hard to speak out there in the garden. So I'm just gonna have to like uh, voice over everything because there are new um, neighbors again um, and they when we were talking to them they said that they're pretty quiet. I don't know what they how they define quiet because uh, I haven't heard silence yet so I don't know um, but okay guys so um, I have a few things to say today about the garden first of all um, one of the things is that let me close this one <laughs> after all that so um, the jade plants is what I wanted to talk about because it's been a little bit cold outside it's been like 34 maybe a little bit colder than that not really though just the, the consistent cold um, weather plus the rain and everything um, for some reason it's the jade plants that are kind of suffering so and also because I wanted to winterize them that make sure that they're like um, hardened you know that I've already uh, summer hardened them so now I want to cold harden them last year I think I kept the cover off of the jade plant and for some reason it kind of wilted kind of you know the leaves just started to fall fall out and um, it's kind of squishy and stuff but you know sometimes you have to have tough love because this year I uncovered everything like I didn't cover anything okay so just to figure out which plants are going to harden for some reason and I think that this would can go true for all the other plants the jade plant only lost like half the leaves like half the the amount of leaves that it did last year and this year it it um lost a little bit less so I think that that's it's hard, starting to harden with the weather so it's starting to acclimate to the weather that's that it's being presented to and also because I have so much so many plants now in the front also um, some of them have been suffering like the the Aeoniums some of the Aeoniums but that was only because I just planted them so I think they're gonna come back next year so I think every year that it's been being exposed to this much rain and this much cold um, it's it's they're gonna start to acclimate to the weather which is great because um, then I don't have to worry about them anymore but yeah so I think that I'm training these plants then you gotta think you got you gotta figure these are plants these are living things okay so they can adapt to the weather that they've been been given oh my gosh how do you see uh, so they're living things it's like us I'm from a tropical country I come to the United States I'm always cold always cold but eventually I start getting used to the weather and it's California I know but I also lived in Massachusetts for three years that kind of cold is really hard um but it's been getting cold in california lately it's been getting down to the 30s which has never happened before <laughs> that's why i don't really believe in um oh climate change i don't really believe in global warming because it's been cold so i think that it goes the same for the plants that the plants are going to acclimate to the weather because I've been babying them 
I've been covering them every year and I just got to the point where I just don't feel like doing it anymore. I'm too old. I'm too old. I can't go up and down the retaining wall and staple plastic and all that stuff. If I can find a better way to do it. Um, so that's this what's happening right now in the garden. Jade plants dead. Not dead, but it's going to come back. It's just right now droopy like this. Uniums are supposed to be happy with the cold weather, but for some reason this type of Ionium, oh I know why, it's because I just planted them, duh, they, they, <laughs> they still don't have roots or they have little roots, tiny roots. What I am having a freaking hard time with is not really a hard time, I'm just starting to give up. I, you know, I've just said to myself, you know what, whatever happens to my indoor plants is what's going to happen. I'm just going to like water them when I feel like they're, they need watering. I'm not going to baby them. I'm not going to deal with no diva, you know, like my zebra plant's kind of a diva, but she's not anymore. Like three, three days, every three days I water her sparingly. Okay. But I feel like he, she's very thirsty all the time. Thirsty. Thirsty girl. So I water her a little bit here, a little bit there. Every three days, she's happy. She's right next to the humidifier. It's like my daughter just living next to a heater. She loves it. Okay? So, you know, and if you want to be a diva, just be a diva. Like, I don't care anymore. I promised myself I'm not going to buy expensive plants. I was looking on um, Facebook today on Marketplace. There's this girl that's from Santa Rosa. She's got like houseplants for sale. You have to make an appointment. You can look at, look at my plants, see what you like. Pay me Venmo. I'd rather get cash. Um, so I'm like, okay. How much is this Monstera Albo or Aldo or Algo or I think it's Albo, Albino. Like a half Monstera, half Bino. <laughs> uh, oh man. I know, I knew that they were expensive, but I, you know, just got curious and I'm like, tell me how much, I, how much is it? She responded to the tune of three thousand dollars what i'm like okay thank you appreciate it it's beyond my budget shocking so promised me myself unless i really know indoor plants i'm not gonna buy expensive ones anymore the one that i bought from green space is id indonesia dark lord I tried everything. It's still drooping. I don't know. Is it dying? It doesn't look like it's dying. One of the leaves kind of died on the way here. But I kept it because I don't know. I don't know anything about it. So as soon as it gets really bad, I'm going to cut that shit off. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to buy expensive plants until I get this stuff down. I'm waiting for my Monstera to grow bigger. I'm waiting for my fiddle leaf fig to grow bigger because those are the ones I really, ooh, they're, they're really cute, right? Um, what else is dying? The umbrella plant. For some reason, I don't know how to take care of it. My Calatheas are doing great. So far, so good. I think they're good. So, most of these plants I'm going to repot in the spring. Among everything else that I need to do, okay? Among everything else I need to do. I'm going to have to repot them in the spring. Anyway, is it winter? Is it really winter today? It's like 75 out there or 70. It's getting kind of hot in this, in this van. I think I'm going to go home. Love you guys. XOXO. So.